this is a special day for both the Board of County Commissioners and the people of Hillsborough County. It is our pleasure to present the seventh annual Theodore Roosevelt Hillsborough Forever Conservation Award. Uh, Commissioner Cameron Cepeda, would you please uh, tell us about the award and recognize this year's outstanding recipient? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning, everybody. I'm deeply honored to present this award for the first time. In January 2017, the Board of County Commissioners unanimously approved the creation of the Theodore Roosevelt Hillsboro Forever Conservation Award to honor an individual or group dedicated to preserving the county's natural resources. The award is named in honor of the 26th President of the United States. Known as the nation's first conservationist president, Theodore Roosevelt placed more than 200 million acres under public protection and doubled the number of sites in the national park system. It is in this spirit of conservation of our most precious environmental resources that we present this award today. I want to thank the members of the Jan K. Platt Environmental Lands Acquisition and Protection Program Committees who reviewed the nominations and recommended the recipient. I believe we have a few members with us here today. Uh, please stand, stand so we can recognize you. Jan Smith, Chair. Sally Thompson, Vice Chair. Ann Paul, Past Conservation Award recipient. Joe Guidry, Past Conservation Award recipient. And Peter Fowler and Joel Jackson. Thank you for your service and our heartfelt thanks to uh, the other members who couldn't join us today. So just thank you for your service. Now I'm proud to welcome the recipient of the 2023 Theodore Roosevelt Hillsboro Forever Conservation Award, Mr. Rob Heath. Mr. Heath, would you please join me here at the podium? Good morning and welcome. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. A graduate of Amherst College and Tulane University with a bachelor's in biology and master's in environmental biology, respectively, Rob Heath has dedicated his life to protecting the environment and educating others about his importance. His accomplishments are extensive. He spent 14 years supervising natural land management for Hillsborough County in our outstanding ELAP program, helping it grow into the best initiative of its type in Florida. He has broad experience in land management, including habitat restoration, prescribed burning, exotic species control, recreational development, and site security. In addition, he's an expert in environmental education and natural history interpretation including development of displays and literature, layout and construction of nature trails and boardwalks, and interpretive programming. And in addition to his jobs, his vast work includes roles as a member of volunteer and leader of various local boards and grassroots conservation organizations. Furthermore, Mr. Heath founded a nonprofit organization, Wildlife Fellowship Incorporated for which he secured grants, coordinated volunteer projects, conducted public education campaigns, and participated in other public and private conservation activities. After three years as a park ranger with the Florida Park Service, Mr. Heath joined Hillsborough County as its environmental education coordinator. Using his amazing creativity, he developed educational displays, nature center exhibits, and interpretive literature for six new parks, including Lettuce Park, Lettuce Lake, and Upper Tampa Bay, among other duties. He then became the county's naturalist, responsible for continuing and expanding parks and recreations, environmental education programs, which included the highly successful Fun with Nature summer program for children. In the late 1980s, Hillsborough County took a gigantic step to preserve environmentally sensitive lands for future generations when voters approved ELAP, lands for future generations. An outstanding leader, Mr. Heath played a major role in the development of this initiative and its ensuing tremendous success in his position as environmental supervisor from 1989 through 2002. In that role, he helped identify, acquire, and manage more than 35,000 acres of preservation lands acquired through ELAP. 
develop habitat restoration plans and public facilities and educate the public about the importance of land preservation. After his retirement from the county, Mr. Heath has continued his mission. He has served as seasonal warden and Tampa Bay Spoonbill Technician for Audubon, Florida, observing, banding, and tracking the beautiful Rosette Spoonbill. He also worked as senior ecologist and land manager for Wildland, Wildlands Conservative Incorporate, Conservation Incorporated, which specializes in acquiring, managing, and restoring natural areas, in addition to leading his nonprofit, among other amazing work. Mr. Heath, your service, dedication, and advocacy embodies the spirit of the Theodore Roosevelt Hillsboro Forever Conservation Award. As part of this award, we have a framed photo for you of an absolutely beautiful spot along the scenic Little Manatee River. In addition, a nice plaque is being made and you will be awarded $2,000 courtesy of the county's late great friend, Gus Munich, to fund and enhance enhancement project at a Hillsborough County nature area of your choice. Also, your name is just the seventh placed on a permanent plaque that hangs in a case here on the second floor of the county center. Thank you for all your amazing work. Thank you. Would you like to say a few words, Mr. Thank you. This one, I can have this one too. Here you go. And there's Take that one. The little manatee. Right that was a picture of the little manatee. Thank you. I don't know if I can keep from passing out after hearing all those things about myself that I didn't know about. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Yelvertrin said I had to keep this under 30 minutes. <laughs> My wife said 30 seconds. So I'm going to compromise and hit something in the middle. Growing up, I spent lots of time outdoors in nature, hunting, fishing, camping, and hiking. My dad wanted me to become a doctor like him, but I knew that I wanted a career working in the natural environment. My wife and Allison here in the front row and I chose to move to Florida in 1978, soon after we got married. Me because of the incredible natural diversity and Allison because of the warm climate. My first job was as a full Lord of Florida Park Ranger. Then after three years, Joel Jackson recruited me to work as an environmental education specialist in the Park Bond Program. That decision was easy. Joel told me about a couple of the resource-based parks that were being developed, and I drove out to the future site of Lettuce Lake Park on the Hillsborough River. And then I uh, drove out the Courtney Campbell Causeway and launched a canoe and paddled across Old Tampa Bay and hiked around on the Upper Tampa Bay Tract. And it was a no-brainer. Plus, the pay was better. <laughs> Over the next 20 plus years, things keep getting, kept getting more interesting, challenging, and rewarding. Not only did I get to be a part of the largest county land preservation program in Florida, and possibly the United States, but I also got to work with an incredible group of individuals who shared my commitment to land conservation, a number of whom are here today. It's impossible to start naming people without accidentally leaving some out, but I have an excuse now since I just turned 70 earlier this year. I'll keep the list short by focusing on some key players who are responsible for getting the ELAP program going in the early years. I'd like to thank Joel Jackson, of course, first and foremost. Also Pete Fowler, Sally Thompson, Jan Platt, Ed Tarancic, Pam Iorio, and Fred Carl all very strong supporters of the program in its critical early years. Additionally, members of all the ELAP volunteer committees, my former co-workers, and members of all the local conservation organizations, including Audubon, Sierra Club, the Native Plant Society, the Nature Conservancy, Tampa Bay Conservancy, the Trust for Public Land, Wildlands Conservation, and more. Some of them are here with me today, including William Lorenzen, Dave Sumter, Rene and Mark Rochelle with Audubon. Eventually, I found myself drawn away from this wonderful community by responsibility even greater. Excuse me. Break it up. <laughs> um, it's Donald Trump. He's making me cry. <laughs> 
responsibility even greater than land management, and that was my family. Five years ago, Allison and I relocated to Virginia to be closer to her parents, both now living in their 90s and living independently. So now we are living in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in our log cabin, surrounded by and enjoying nature. Visitors are welcome. In closing, I'd like to say again, thanks to everyone for this wonderful honor. Now, as my former staff can tell you, I can never resist throwing in a Star Trek reference. <laughs> so I say to you all, live long and prosper. <laughs>